Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie wizard of Oz himself. So, as you may know, tomorrow is Dip. I'm going to see Deadpool and Wolverine with my friend Damien. But I'm here to discuss a few few that is not related to X-Men though. So, turns out, I'm here to discuss one of you on this awesome movie movie that that just came out this year. Yeah, and, and now it's recently came out on Peacock and it looks like it's becoming the coming the best comedy horror movie I have ever seen. Abigail starring Melissa Burita, Dan Stevens, Alicia Weird, Weird, Catherine Newton, Newton Kevin Durant, Durant Giancarlo Esposito and and the and also the late and also the late young A Angus Cloud uh, yes this was Angus Ca Cloud's song song before he died got rest of soul <sighs> I don't know that. So this tells the story of of these of these kidnappers holding a twelve year old daughter of a powerful underworld figure captive. Um, but that all changed until they found out that she is a vampire. Oh my god. It was it was crazy. It was amazing. It was like it was like it was like Dracula. It was like Dracula and the movie. Yeah, the one from yeah, the one with with Samara Wee in it. Uh, I gotta say. Right. This thing, this movie was so bloody, yet so effing funny. I gotta admit, I really do admire the humor in this. Yes. This, it really, it really reminds me of other, uh, other things. Other things. Such as the last movie, for example. Yeah. At first, Abigail was like the villain. Was like the villain. villain at first. But that old change is still. The one of half of half is also kind of that are in stuff. Yeah. I thought that this movie had, had some piston turn. Like the set of the one of the other other kidnappers, Catherine Newton. Yeah, the youngest of the group also became a vampire herself. But but she didn't have control over it. It's like Abigail was was taking over her like she was her puppet. That was, that was crazy. I found it. I really do love Melissa, Melissa in this movie. Other than, other than her being the screen moment. I think she was pretty awesome in this one. I really do like the part where, where they took. I really love the part where she was. Who also played Christopher a vamp in a vampire in the 
in the TV show A Discovery of Witches. Oh, <laughs> amazing. Anyway, I really did love it how it ended. It was not so bad. I don't know. But it does make the question. Question. Will they make a sequel? Hmm. And that's not all. Judging by the looks of by the looks of this movie, I do believe it is based based on Dra Dr Dracula's daughter, or more likely inspired by by it. I mean, I saw according to this movie movie, the father goes by Abigail's father goes by many names. But what if but what if one of his names used to go by the Count himself? Yeah, that would be shocking. So, I guess that's it. So, for my score for Abigail, I think I'll give this one a 9. Definitely a 9. Alright you guys, I guess that's it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe and stay healthy. Bye!